Hello everyone and welcome to this video. I am so glad you're here. I hope you are having a great day. My name is Michaela, and I am a stay-at-home mom to two kids and I'm currently pregnant with number three. And so I'm going to be sharing today some tips and tricks on how I cook and clean so that everyone gets fed in a sanely manner and everything gets cleaned up as well. So first I'm going to talk about cooking and I know that a lot of people tend to share how they cook with their kids and I do that as well. I love to have them in the cooking process with dough on their fingers and just stirring things around and anything they can do in that but also sometimes there's just those times where you need to occupy your kids while you're doing something in the oven or something that they just can't do or there's just things that need done that they can't do and so I'm going to share with you some cooking tips on how I do that. So my first go-to is stickers. I just pull out some paper that I don't really care about, some scrap pieces or computer paper or something like that and I pull out some stickers and I like to get stickers from the Dollar Tree. They can go through a whole pack and it's not very expensive. Sometimes I like to keep my kids occupied as long as possible and and keep them interested in what they're doing for as long as possible. So if stickers just really aren't cutting it, then I like to draw little shapes on the paper and have my almost four-year-old daughter put the different colored stickers on the different shapes. This is kind of a low-key preschool thing as well. And I'll pull out coloring or something like that as well. Something that she doesn't do all the time, every day. Something that will keep her entertained for the longest amount of time possible while things are going cooking wise that she cannot help with. She loves to help me cook, but she also likes to be entertained while I cook if that's necessary as well. And I, and I also have an almost two year old he isn't quite as into helping me cook, so I let him play with containers or toys in the kitchen if he can, if there's things that he can play with. And this is also a low-key kind of preschooling as well. It helps with coordination and he enjoys playing with the new things. Of course, there is no shame in screen time. My kids definitely get some of that as well if I am in a desperate situation where they need it. But they love to just have some music put on in the kitchen and dance while I'm in there or watch the things cooking in the oven. It's almost like a show in itself for them. And I will also give them their vitamins or a small snack while I'm cooking or taste testing because let's be honest, we all taste test. So is it really fair to let them watch us while we taste test and not let them. So those are just a few tips and tricks and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Just a little disclaimer here, this is just what I do with my kids. This is not a professional video. I just wanted to share some tips and tricks with you guys and hopefully help you out. I'm just a mama and sometimes it feels like I've tried it all. But if you guys have some suggestions, leave them in the comments and I would love to hear from you. I'm always looking for new ideas. The next thing is cleaning with my kids and this is something that they like to get a little more hands on with, especially my almost four year old daughter. She really likes to run my vacuum. My vacuum has a configuration where it can go a lot shorter than what I use. And so I like to establish healthy habits with my kids in the same way as like brushing their teeth. I like to teach them little things that they can do to better further themselves either, even just later on. And I know that a lot of people hesitate to let their small children clean because they think, well, I'll just have to do it again later or it's not clean unless I do it. And I thought that way for the longest time too, but it felt amazing when I finally just let go and let my kids do some things. I know that there's no shame in screen time, like I said, but it just feels so much better in my head to know that my kids just did a little something to actually help out and feel accomplished themselves. They love cleaning. If your kids don't like cleaning, then this may not be the video for you, but my kids like to grab a disinfectant wipe or the vacuum, and I'll tell them to just go and wipe off the hard surfaces around the house. I'll show them where they can clean and where they shouldn't. As far as the vacuum goes, I like to be in the same room as them so that nothing valuable doesn't get vacuumed up. 
and the cord stays nice and untangled from the vacuum as well. But when it comes to just wiping things down, I know that they're not gonna do it perfectly, but I can fold some clothes and they can wipe some stuff down. And it's multitasking, they feel great, I feel great, and they are kept busy in a whole different way than just sending them to play or watch something. It also helps them learn how to clean up their own messes as far as just things that they've maybe gotten on the wall, fingerprints, stuff like that. When they can see it, it usually gets cleaned up. When I just hand them a rag, a wipe, a cleaning sponge, something like that, I definitely try and make sure that they're not working with too many toxic chemicals, but it helps them a lot to just kind of understand the way that things go. Another huge thing that helps me out and just kind of takes something off of my plate. My kids really like new and interesting things, so I ended up with a rolling basket that I give to them that they can put all their toys in from all, all around the house and they just put all their toys in there and then they put it in their room and then we put away their toys in their room together if they don't necessarily know where things go. And so it helps them a lot to be motivated, especially if I say, hey, let's pick up your toys and then you can vacuum or something like that. It helps them to be motivated just as much as when I go to clean and I need a little motivation as well. Plus it encourages teamwork. It helps them, like I said, just to de develop those daily healthy habits and work together as well. I definitely like to at least supervise even if I am doing something else in the meantime. It helps them not to fight, but I notice that if I am encouraging and if I help them out, I tell them I'm going to do this with them. I ask them nicely. Nobody likes to be told what to do, not even kids. And so <laughs> I know that as a mom, it can be sometimes a little overwhelming. You just want to tell your kids, go do this. But a lot of little kids, especially mine, I noticed they just need a little encouragement and help from me to have a good attitude and to be motivated by my attitude for them to have a good attitude about cleaning as well. So if I ask them nicely and I let them know that I'm going to be cleaning as well, would they like to help me out with it? Then that almost always gets a positive response from them and they want to help out as much as possible. And they kind of have a little competition going on on who can pick up the most or who can vacuum the most. My son, like I said, he's only almost two. So he just kind of vacuums in a straight line and then he's done. But my daughter, she gets a little more enthusiastic with the wiping down and the cleaning up. And she really likes to help. The older they get, especially if you start them young, the better it's going to be. As well as talking to my kids when we start out in a just a more mature and nice manner, I guess, rather than just commanding them to do something. Positive reinforcement is amazing with little kids, and I just noticed such a big difference in my own kids whenever I am super encouraging to them, and then afterwards, I'm like, great job, you guys did amazing. Even if they didn't do all that much, it helps the next time for them to be even more motivated, knowing that I'm going to be so proud of them, and knowing that they're going to get that little little good feeling high from doing something good for mom and for themselves. And they also love a clean space. I mean, us as adults, we always like our spaces to be clean. Kids like that too. They like the open spaces. They don't always like putting the things away, but they definitely like it when it's all done. And so I noticed that my kids really enjoy seeing their work become accomplished and seeing what they can do in just a short amount of time. My kids definitely don't clean all day every day. I mean, I don't do that either, but they don't clean near as much as I do, but whenever they do clean with me, it always feels great. It gives us all a little encouragement. And I noticed when my kids I try and notice when my kids start to start slacking off a little bit and getting bored or not wanting to do things. I think it helps to let them off the hook whenever they start that rather than trying to force them into continuing on because then they are just more motivated the next time. They know they don't have to clean till they drop or anything like that. And so I think that helps a lot as well. Just trying to keep in mind when they are done and letting them go do something else. This applies to cooking and cleaning and whatever else as well. And I know that with cooking, it was kind of more of a what can keep them occupied while you cook. But with cleaning, this is just more of how to, how I help my kids help me out 
and help them establish those good habits in their lives as well. Sometimes one of my kids will be asleep and it's almost like bonding time if I need to get something done. If I let the one that's awake help me out, they love helping out kids, just love feeling useful, and I'm just trying to make my kids feel as useful as they want to, not as much as I feel like they need to be. And with each time that I do this, they get more encouraged and they want to do better the next time. So if you are starting out with trying to let your kids help you with things or maybe just trying to keep them busy while you do things and you notice that they're not being busy or not helping for a very long amount of time, just keep on with it. Consistency is key. And the next time they will go for a little bit longer being distracted or helping whichever one you are aiming for and they will like it a little bit more each time. So I just want to encourage you if you are trying for either one in specific, then just keep on going with it. I'm sure you are doing a great job. You know your kid the best and no one else can tell you exactly how to take care of them or help them help you, either one, not even me, I'm just gonna let you guys know. This is just what I do with my kids that I found that works, but you know your kid best and you are going to be able to keep them occupied or help them help you in the best way possible just by watching them and kind of letting them lead you and how to deal with them. Lastly, I just want to say that I definitely try not to bribe my kids. I think that can go south really quickly, but giving my kids a little bit of a treat when they really feel good and help me out, I think that is really good to do because we as adults treat ourselves all the time without even thinking about it. We get an ice cream or we get to sit down and take a break or whatever, but our kids just wanna please us so much. So giving them a little bit of a treat, no matter what that is, you know best what is a treat for your own kid. That can really make, be a game changer for them and if they want to help you or not. And sometimes that treat is motivation. Sometimes it's just the quality time that's motivation for them. It's whatever is best for your child. And of course, every child is going to be different, different stages, different ages. No one is going to be the same. So just keep that in mind. I know that you already know that if you have kids, but I just wanted to remind you a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one.